good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i have some brand new wwe figure news for you guys thanks to the major wrestling figure podcast with zach Ryder and kurt hawkins we have learned two of the upcoming elite figures in elite series 66 and we're going to take a look at that today we also have a brand new figure from a store exclusive we have a new in package image of that we also have an upcoming release in elite series 69 i do believe and then we have some images of the brand new battle packs 57 coming very soon to ringside collectibles guys so we have a lot of stuff to cover so let's go ahead and dive straight into it so the two figures that were confirmed on the wrestling figure podcast with Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins guys from Elite 66 is the phenomenal AJ Styles and Kurt Angle and the AJ Styles is probably going to look like this they said that it was going to be the Royal Rumble 2018 attire and it was going to come with his light blue t-shirt and the WWE championship I guess it's not going to come with the vest just because you know the vest did come with the top talent so I guess if you picked up two of the top talents you would be able to pair the vest with this figure this custom on the right um, is what it's going to look like. This is a Royal Rumble 2018 Custom Elite AJ Styles made by J. Rain Wrestling Custom Figures. Um, I don't know his exact name. I know it's J. Rain. It's Justin Rainey. He is an absolute beast of a customizer on Instagram. I can't remember his uh, handle off the top of my head, but a very, very talented guy. And uh, I, he pretty much, this is exactly what the figure is going to look like, guys. If you look at this, I mean, I don't see how it could be any different except for throwing the light blue t-shirt in there. I'm not sure if it's going to be a t-shirt or if it's going to be sleeveless. But I don't think that matters. As long as it's cloth, you know, they've been pretty good about giving us cloth accessories. So hopefully it will be, you know, cloth. And then the other Elite 66 figure is a Kurt Angle. And it is from Survivor Series 2017. At Survivor Series 2017, Kurt Angle was wearing this sleeveless Raw shirt. It does say that he's going to come with that Raw shirt. Again, hopefully that is cloth and it's not, you know, like the Elite 54 Usos. How they have the cutoff shirt or the ringside exclusive Matt Hardy. Hopefully it will actually be a cloth Raw shirt. I also want to give a shout out to WWE Stage Creator. I think that is from his story, that little picture on the left there. I think I did screenshot that from his story. So I want to plug him on Instagram. Go follow him and subscribe to his YouTube channel. But hopefully this Elite 66 Kurt Angle figure doesn't come with that doofus looking, you know, smiling, awful looking head scan that the ringside exclusive shield Kurt Angle came with. And uh, I think we've had multiple basics with that head scan. I just hope we move on from that. And maybe I would be fine with them giving him the Elite 59 head. I just do not want to see that doofus smiling head scan. So hopefully, you know, we'll get um, a younger looking Kurt Angle head scan and or even a brand new one would be fine with me. I just don't want that same one. But this is the first figure news that we have, guys. Elite 66, AJ Styles, and Kurt Angle are confirmed. Up next, guys, we have a figure that is, I believe, confirmed for Elite 69. I think WWE stage creator put this in his story as well. I don't know what source he got this from or if he's just making a guess. I think it is a source that he got this from but Elite 69 is going to include Mustafa Ali in it. You know, we saw this render back at San Diego Comic-Con from his WrestleMania 34 attire. You know, that Sub-Zero face mask and attire he wore that was absolutely badass. Um, absolutely incredible figure. Hopefully they don't give him those Elite 24 Dolph Ziggler style arms though. Um, hopefully we get some smaller arms than that, but uh, it, it probably wouldn't be a tough swap, but it's still you know something to take note of. But you'll see the custom in the middle and on the right. That is from Scribble Customs. He is absolutely incredible on Instagram. He makes some of the cleanest work that you can find, and um, he is an absolute ball. So I want to give a shout out to him for uh, I found these. I think he's the only one that I could find that made a Mustafa Ali custom. Um, if anybody else is out there, let me know because I would love to see them. But this is very exciting news considering, you know, Mustafa Ali has just been called up to the main roster and uh, he is on SmackDown Live permanently now. So it should be interesting moving forward. And um, I love Mustafa Ali. I think he's been tearing it down. Him and Cedric Alexander are uh, two of my favorites in the Cruiserweight division, and they have been tearing it down. So uh, hopefully when we get our Cedric figures, um, it'll be you know around the same time we get Mustafa Ali. I do not think that Cedric Alexander is confirmed for anything, but Mustafa Ali, um, you see here, is uh, apparently going to be in Elite 69. Again, I do believe that stage creator... Um, confirm this news. So um, Mustafa Ali will be in Elite 69 and it will be his WrestleMania 34 attire in that beautiful Sub-Zero and it's going to be incredible. Cannot wait to see final images of it. The next news guys that we have is a brand new image of an in-package image of the brand new Sensational Sherry Elite figure. This was posted by Wrestling Shop I do believe. I got this from my boy Unstable1047. My boy Christian he posted this on his Instagram. I do believe this is one of those store exclusives like Bob Backlund and like Pete Dunn. I do believe that this is another one of those, uh, you know, store exclusives, you know, Walmart, Target. Um, I don't know what exactly 
the uh, the store is just yet. But if I do find out for you guys, I will be posting it and letting you guys know. But Sensational Sherry, we did see her at, I think it was at that uh, British Con or one of the ringside fests or something. We saw it on display and uh, it looked incredible. The head scan looked great. The robe looked great. Even though I don't really care for the figure, I don't really necessarily want this figure at all. It's still really cool to see here in package images. But now let's get into some Battle Pack 57 images. The first Battle Pack from Battle Pack 57 that we're going to take a look at, guys, is Finn Balor and Shinsuke Nakamura. You can see that Finn Balor is in his Elimination Chamber 2018 attire, Shinsuke in his regular black and red. And we have gotten this Shinsuke figure, I'm pretty sure, a hundred different times in the past in different basic lines, except it does have the Elite 63 head scan, which is definitely Shinsuke's best head scan. I don't know why they gave Balor the larger knee pads. He never wears larger knee pads. They also gave him the ringside exclusive Finn Balor head with the true effects now on on there so it's not the top talents head but it is that old cartoony grinning face but with the actual true effects uh you know style over it and i don't know why these two guys are in a battle pack together can anybody tell me why they're in a battle pack together i know that in the royal rumble they would have faced off but finn balor wore like a reddish maroon color in that and if it was survivor series um, Finn Balor would have wore red again. So I don't know why uh, these two guys are in a battle pack together. If anybody has the answer, please let me know down in the comment section below. Maybe I'm just having a brain fart or something. But that's all I could come up with. So this is the first battle pack. And then the next battle pack we have is Sunil and Sunir Singh. And these look great. I think that they're way overdue. You know, Jinder Mahal was champion a long time ago. This is when they were relevant, when they were running around with Jinder Mahal, you know, making noise and getting flipped onto announce tables by Randy Orton and just making SmackDown Live look like an effing mess. This is when they were most popular. These figures look great, though. I think their head scans are incredible. I think that, you know, you need to get a neck brace and some crutches for them so that you can throw them around and have Randy Orton RKO them and flip them all over the place. But these are really great figures. I don't know if I'm going to grab them just because they're not necessary for my collection or anything. But I guess if I wanted to bring them to the pick fed for some stupid reason or something, I might grab them. But I don't think I'm going to grab them. They do look incredible, though. Great looking figures. And the last battle pack that we're taking a look at, guys, is... Kane and Braun Strowman, and I don't know why anybody would like any of these figures. Maybe you want to pick this up to head swap the Kane onto your Elite 63 Kane, but the Braun Strowman we've seen a hundred times. We've seen that head scan a hundred times. Um, basics guys have just taken a nosedive, am I right? I mean, they just aren't good anymore. Um, they used to be great for, you know, part switching and stuff, but they've basically made them just, I don't know, obsolete, as Matt Hardy would say. But um, the, you also see the Sasha Banks there in the Wonder Woman attire. I don't know exactly which basic series this is. I think it's basic 96. I could be wrong, but uh, I believe that is the series. It looks great. Really good Sasha Banks figure here. It is a basic, though, so the, the articulation, of course, is going to be really hindered. But it is a great-looking figure. I, I may actually grab this just to update my Sasha Banks. Hopefully, with the new Raw coming up, I'm not putting any faith in it, but hopefully with Raw getting a little boost of energy... Um, hopefully, I know that this past week's, even though they said it was fresh, it still wasn't that fresh. Um, hopefully that Sasha Banks will get more involved in storylines. I feel like her and Bailey have been put on the back burner forever. So hopefully, you know, they'll contend with Ronda going into the Royal Rumble or something and we'll get some fresh feuds and have her back on TV. But that's all of the WWE figure news that I have for you guys today, guys. Uh, if I have any more, I will definitely let you guys know. But I would love to know your thoughts on Elite 66, AJ Styles, and Kurt Angle. What do you think of the new Battle Packs 57? What do you think of the new Sasha? And also, what do you think of Mustafa Ali getting a WrestleMania 34 Elite coming up in Elite 69? That is some really good news there. Cannot wait to see him. Also, uh, I finished MDT Live episode number 10. It should be up to tomorrow. I'm going to, you know, edit all day today and I'm going to work my butt off to try and get that up to you guys on Friday. So be on the lookout for that. And um, I think that's pretty much it. You know, Christmas is coming up, guys. Um, a lot of great deals going over at Ringside Collectibles. Go over there. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save 10% and uh, get some new figures because we're going to do a massive Christmas haul. We're going to do a lot of great things going into Christmas. I cannot wait. i got a ton of things coming in, and it's going to be really freaking epic. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.